Good morning and welcome to this week's video. Hi, future was here. I'm just walking up to the shop and I just want to apologise over the sound in this video. There seems to be some sort of interference or something which I do apologise for. It is something I am trying to address for future videos and hopefully I'll be able to remedy it and it won't happen again. So please do put up with it for this video. Like I said, I am sorry and enjoy the rest of this video. In today's video, I've come here to Ely City Farm to have a look round. The farm itself is an inner city farm that's based on the outskirts of Sheffield City Centre. It's mainly run by a band of amazing volunteers that have given the time up. Some have been doing it for years, just so people like myself and yourselves can come here and enjoy the city farm. In the farm there's a fair few different animals. You've got chickens, goats and one beast of a turkey and I'll try and get him now so you can see what this thing is like. As you can see, just walking off into the background is the beast of a turkey. I think he actually runs the joint with the looks of it because all the other chickens just basically doing as they say and he's keeping them in line. Quick question, what is it with goats and wanting to climb up things? As you can see, you've got a couple of uh, mad fools enjoying the climbing frame. And is it wrong that all I can think of at the moment is that scene from Jurassic Park, which we all know how that ends and it doesn't go too well for the goat. There's even a small play area for people who are bringing children. It's fairly basic, but it's got everything that the kid will need from little rocking horses to slides. I'll give you a quick look round. So as you can see, there's little rocking horses, a small climbing wall for them to obviously fall off because you know what children are like you've got the little swing and obviously the slide stroke playhouse area for them to have a wander through a climb round and basically cause mischief and hide it's a shame that someone's been in and put graffiti all over the playhouse which I do think is a real shame but unfortunately that's the world we live in today. There's even a little garden centre in the farm so let's have a look round and see what it's got and we'll check out the prices. So if you want an animal feed as you can see it's fairly cheap at 60p for a bag and the bag looks a decent size. The goats would get a decent meal and you can also feed the birds as well. I don't know the names of any of the plants because me and plants do not mix whatsoever. It's, if I was looking after these, every single one of them would have died by now. I've no idea, like I said, what anything is. As far as I'd know, every single thing of these could just be weeds because that's as far as my plant knowledge goes. I'd end up just, well, I'd end up just using artificial grass, artificial plants, but take no looking after whatsoever. 
but the herbs that we've got there's a bit of lavender I can't pronounce most of these thyme creeping lemon thyme lavender again chives and sage bit of mint let's give this a smell yep that's very fresh I've never heard of apple mint I didn't realize there were so many different mints to be honest like I said you can purchase all of these they just buy the cafe so come along if you're in need of any herbs or plants I'd recommend here because it all goes to a good cause and what is any farm if it hasn't got a cat I don't know the name of this beast but it seems friendly enough and well a bit nosy really it seems to be interested in my shoes rather than anything else whatsoever but yep as I said every farm has got to have a cat and I think I've found the one that lives here Throughout the farm there's plenty of little paths for you to go wandering and explore. They lead to lots of little things because there's things like that that are just in a way a little play area with a bench and a little bridge. At the moment I'm just passing the little play area that I've just shown you and it's going up to a little decked area which obviously with the weather conditions with that do apologize i'm just slipping everywhere with the weather conditions that we had it is a bit slippy but that is to be expected because at the end of the day you are coming to a farm so you've got to expect there to be lots of mud and lots of water about like i said the farm itself is run by volunteers well sorry it's staffed by volunteers it is a charity by all accounts they even do their own lottery 
where a percentage of all the money raised from the sale of the tickets is given as the prize. It's £4 a month for the lottery and you can find that on the website and I will leave a link so if you do want to have a go at the lottery and try your luck please do so and you can also sponsor animals here so if you do want to help pay for the upkeep of the goat or the cat you can do so so check out the link look at the website and that's just a little visit to Ely City Farm so thank you very much for watching this little video and there's only one thing left to say which as you all know is look after yourselves take care and talk later